Lee is back in Australia and today him and his mate Maddie are going fishing. This is the Tweed River in northern New South Wales and Lee's old fishing grounds. So here we are, we're out on the nine mile just fishing the drop off and uh, Maddie seems to have hooked onto something. Maddie's just um, pulled in a trevally and uh, the next fish has just been a nice little kingfish. Alright guys, we had a one kingfish we had to let go of. We think it was around 60 and the legal limit's 65 so we just let it go. But this one, we don't know, what, what do you call him Maddie? Kingy or? Yeah, look at the take of mine man. Little hard little whips there, that's got to be a kingy. Coming up high now, I think we're going to get a look at it in a second. What a beautiful afternoon, hey, look at this guys. We're off the northern New South Wales coastline. Oh yeah, look at it, I can see it out there. Oh, you got a shark. Is it a cobia? Oh, it could be a... What is this thing? What is it? It's like a drummer, a drummer. Yeah, yeah it is. Is that what you reckon it is? I'm, I'm not sure. I've, I've only been guessing. Oh, it's decent, whatever it is. I think we're going to have to get Chris on a video call. <laughs> so guys, we don't know what the fish is. It's phone a friend time. We might have met Chris in one of the episodes before in Thursday Island. He's the man we're going to call. It's like an encyclopedia when it comes to knowing his fish. That's nine pound, so about four kilos. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's definitely got weight in it. Yeah. yeah, I reckon I have a go then, Matty. Nah, let's go. Don't want to? Nah, let him go. All right, he wants to catch and release. Targeting fish here, I've got a feeling we're after that kingy. There you go. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Swam Don't away. He? Just sustainable fishing, mate. All right, buddy. Thank you. Okay, we're on again. We just thought we lost this one, but it was swimming straight at us full speed. Real, get ready now. Let's go. Stay focused in the heat. Come concentrate to the sound of the beat drum. Start it up. Take it back now. Check, check it out. This is how it's going down. I think we got dinner. Oh, look at that hill and line off. Mm. I thought I saw it before, it didn't look like a trevally again. Just, it's got too much kick for a um, trevally, I reckon. I don't know whether a tight drag or not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Patience. I just don't want to take the cut. You got much on it? Can you do a little bit or just wouldn't go too much? Well, <laughs> don't blow it, Matty. <laughs> I just don't want him to... It's one of those things, we don't like tighten the drag up as we're going. You just go too much and then... Doink! Yeah, all right. Same thing, you know, you don't want to get roof. Nah. Oh, that's a good side. That's a kingy, I reckon, for sure. Yeah, it's a kingy. Has to be. That's got a lot of power. Uh, um, for this amount of time, then still be kicking like that. Okay, I'll call it kingy or cobia. They're my two picks. But there's definitely a fish that's got some muscle here. It's wearing, out, it's wearing out the old fella over here. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit. <laughs> Waves out the back here too, which we've got to watch. Where there's a shallow reef over there that breaks, oh. called the Nine Mile. Right. It's just been catch and release all afternoon, but it's been quite fun. Oh, a few different heavy. species. But I've got the feeling this is the keeper. Actually, I'm starting to get a bit of arm pump. <laughs> <laughs> what an afternoon, though. Look at it, it's a glassy, it's probably like a knot or two knots of light south wind, and it's got to be tiring out now. It's been nearly five minutes into this battle, and I uh, thought we would have had a little bit of a tired fishy by now, but it doesn't look like it.
Look at that rod bending, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we come out here for. Look at that. Just got to watch out. It's whale season and all. A fair few white pointers hanging around. Got to keep your toes in off the sides of the ski. what we've been waiting for guys, we called it yes. King Kingfish for dinner yes. tonight. Yes! <laughs> He's a monster. It's oh. going to be sashimi tonight. This, oh, you just hold the rod, Matty. Yeah, way there, way there. <laughs> Might have to put this camera down. There we have it guys, that's dinner. Got one on gonna... here too. Oh, we're going to have to put this down, both hands are full. We're about to head in, it's about to get dark and the uh, dolphins over here and a whale probably about 50 metres away from us. So that's it, wrapping it up. <laughs> Hey guys, so as people ask how we top up the sailing kitty, now and then it's just a bit of um, good old fashioned hard work. Just out west Queensland here. You gotta do what you gotta do. I must admit, up Hello. I am, people get excited to see the Hi! So look who it is, it's Johnny. Do you know we get requests for you to come oh, back on no. the show? Yeah, for <laughs> love <laughs> So, Anytime, I will be there. We have snuck back into Australia. Not many people know we're here, <laughs> but uh, here, this is uh, where we are. We're feeding the lorikeets. Ah, oh, I got a friend. <laughs> so Granddad's not a fan of the birds. He's telling me I'm gonna have fleas because I've had it in my head. Look at them, they're so cute. Who are you? They're so spoiled. They go, they know that they go to nearly every place here in Crumbin and get fed. They're very tame. Like I said, we've done a last minute trip back to Australia for a visa run. Where we are in Catalpa in Malaysia, we get a 90 day visa when we arrive. Then we have to leave the country. So here we are back on the Gold Coast. It's winter at the moment, and even though it's cold, we spent most of our time at the beach. So just been for a bit of a run, and each day I wake up here, it's just been magical. It's cold, but um, I'm about to jump in and have a swim. It's about 20 degrees in the water. About day seven. Oh, got another seven to go, and then back home. Good morning, guys. So um, we've just had two weeks of a really nice time staying here in this unit and we are about to leave in a few hours. Grandad and Shawnee left this morning and um, they've headed back to their home but uh, we've had a really nice time. We didn't do much, pretty much just swam at the beach every day and have hung out. A few surfs and the surf's been pretty crappy. Uh, tomorrow uh, Lee's home so Lee's done his first swing, which was two weeks away, and he'll be home or back on the Gold Coast tomorrow, um, which has been rough. <laughs> Him not being here, but way easier here with um, Dad and, and the beach and being back. So super grateful that we did come back the first time. I think it would have been way harder staying on the boat by ourselves. Excited to see 
Lily. Got another week here with him and then we fly back. But it's been nice. We've had a really good time. So I think we're going to go down the beach and then we're going to stay at Lee's brother's place for the rest of the time. Super grateful for being here. Thanks, Dad and Johnny for having us and yeah, making us do our visa run out to Australia. It was perfect. It was a perfect idea. You can't beat the beautiful sounds of Kurumban and a cheeky kookaburra sitting in a tree. Kurumban Valley is full of beautiful wildlife here at our family's place and also some not so favourable ones. So we got this guy in our room. We don't all want to go to bed while it's here so the trusty captain, lucky he's back tonight. <laughs> Oh, it's good a bowl. This, <laughs> this is how you catch and release. I don't like it. I like his, I don't know how to swim with the shark. You don't like it when you You know what happens when you miss and then it goes. <laughs> they don't bite. You're such a cool. They bite like a dog. It doesn't bite like a dog. Just it have does. a go. <laughs> one is yeah, I can run better at this. <laughs> I'll break it. Right, but I don't want to kill him. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm trying to try and get this bowl over the top of the spider, trap it in there outside because we don't want to hurt him. But we also don't want to have him in our bed <laughs> crawling over our faces. <laughs> oh. You've upset the spider now. He's feeling threatened. You got him. Okay, I got him. You need something okay. So what we've got here guys is an Australian spider and uh, what are they called honey? It's called a huntsman darling. It's called a huntsman and he's probably a little bit freaked out right now. <laughs> but we're doing our best to not kill him. <laughs> you can, you just put your hand on the back of that folder. Yeah, there's all gaps up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get jumpy there, babe. <laughs> it was a beautiful week together, and then it was time to say goodbye again. And just like that, we were on our way back to Catalpa. Thanks for watching. We were stoked to have you join us and hope to see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.